Hello and welcome back to the channel. This is just going to be a quick video for a quick review of the Scale Scenes boats kits that you can download yourself. This is one I've just finished building. It is their cargo ship and uh, it's turned into a very nice model. As you can see, I've added the rigging is cotton. It comes with all the life rings, winch housing, which I put chain on. The fencing and steps are plastic components. And to be honest, it has come out better than I ever thought it would. I've never built a scale scenes kit before, ever. I downloaded this and it's a large kit, as you can see, it is pretty big. And gave it a go. Anybody wanting to try scale scenes, I recommend that you try start with a smaller kit. I have built lots of card kits in the past, um, but nothing quite as complex and as large as this. It, it builds up into a nice representation of the ship. You can choose your own names, which are editable. You put them on the side. I've weathered this with dry brushing, rail match rust and acrylics on it. Weathered the inside and the deck. The only modification I did was to put these holes in side, which ships generally have to allow it to be roped up when it's moored. The holds, I made the covers removable by doing so, so I could fit these crates in, which are Hornby crates. I made them so they could fit in, so I adjusted the beams, but they sit on there nicely. Cover the holds up, you can put all sorts in there. I also added some aerials out of wire, windscreen wipers which are staples cut in half, I scratch built a radar dish on the top which most ships seem to have and these other aerials are just miscellaneous. Going around to the back you can see the lifeboats, I made the rigging out of twine with small wire hooks that goes around, it's all working with super glue and the twine makes it easy to make things like this and the rigging. I have been told since building it that British registered ships wouldn't be that rusty however having looked at various videos on YouTube the older the boat sometimes the rustier it is but it was an experiment I think it looks pretty good but you can leave your own comments as to what you think about it. It is a brilliant model measures in about 60 centimeters long but when you look at it further back it looks quite good on the dock side but when you look at it against a tug which are generally smaller it doesn't make for a bad scene at all if like I said if you've never tried scale scene before I hadn't and I was must admit I was a little bit dubious about doing it but now I've built this there will be many more builds to follow and if you want to follow me along the quayside there's already been some this small fleet of five fishing boats these are also scale scenes some of them have been modified like this one i cut the cut the stern shorter to make it into a small lobster boat the lobster pots there are harbin hamlet small chain on the winch gear that is built pretty much as is in the instructions the aerials are optional these are all additional that I've put on they make up into brilliant models and as you can see you even get crates of crab mussels or fish to build I've got lots more of them to do so uh, that will be all on the key side and as you can see when you they sit next to the Keybury trawler they really do look the part again wipers on these boats were made with staples and then you go down and there's the other two moored up I will be building another one, full hull version. I'd like one sitting on the ramp being repaired. And that is the option you have in these kits. All the numbers and names on the back are editable. Put your own port, own names on them, optional deck guards. You've got optional deck mats. I mean, that one hasn't got a hatch, but this one has. Again, this is the Harbin Hamlet bucket. And they really do look superb I may even build a couple more just to have them moored up side by side as often you do see in seasides 
got other things to do to finish them off. I'm going to put tyres on the side and uh, things like that, but they do look good. I've also got some boys to make from beads, but that'll be uh, another video. So yeah, it was just a quick video to show you what these scale scenes kits can build up to. I mean, I've built kits before, like Metcalf card kits, as you can see. This is excellent. The, these are on par with Metcalf. All you need to do is buy your correct card, 2mm, 1mm and 200 GSM. Print them off, stick them on with print stick, weight, weight them down, wait for them to dry and then just follow the instructions. And if I can build a ship like that, which I must have been, I'm pretty proud of, then anybody can. And this ship at the minute, it cost me 6 99 And then obviously you've got to buy your card. But for overall, the build cost me approximately 30 quid. That includes card and glues and the ship itself. But bearing in mind, I've got that download now. I could build a fleet of these and the price won't increase. I've got that for good. And it's the same with the fishing boat. So I have that now. And once you, that's the good thing about scale scenes, once you've bought the kit, you can print off one or you can print off a hundred. It's going to cost you roughly the same because you've already bought the, the blueprints and the PDF for the kit. As you can see, these things like this Harbin Hamlet net, when you put them in the back, these little boats really do. They really do look the part. Um, you might see I've, I've obtained some trucks for the harbour. I've not painted the hard stand in yet, but these trucks picked up from my local shop trains for you at Peterborough five pounds each it really is worth rummaging through the second hand bins in any model shop I mean these were a bargain and you can build up a fleet of lorries and vans pretty quick for very little money really yep so I hope you like the ship please leave any comments down below like and share the video and subscribe and there'll be more videos shortly but yeah, that was all I wanted to show you really. If you haven't tried scale scenes, please do. Buy buy some kits, test them out. He's even got free ones you can download and have a go at. But uh, if I can do it and get it to look as good as this, then anybody can. I mean, the detail on it, without my additional detail of the, of the things, the detail on it is incredible. And you don't need to be a master card maker to... Uh, to make something that looks as good as that. So until next time, hope you've enjoyed this quick video, um, and I'll see you again soon.